Do you have a list of unformatted phone values like this one in Excel? Creating hard-coded phone numbers from it can be tricky, and this is because Excel's phone number formatting options, they don't actually change the contents in the cell. They only make them look like phone numbers. So for example, let's say we highlighted these. We go to Format Cells. Under the Special Category, select Phone Number. This is going to format our values as phone numbers. But notice up here in the formula bar, we don't see that parentheses or this extra space or the dashes. This is because those characters are only part of the formatting of those cells. They're not actually hard coded into the values in that cell. Let's undo this. The point is that we need to get creative if we want to hard code the phone values. And I'll be honest, I haven't actually found a really great tool for this, but there is one tool that works most of the time, and this is Flash Fill. So a quick recap, Flash Fill works by detecting formatting patterns as you type. Once it detects a pattern, it replicates it in adjacent consecutive cells, hard coding those results into the cells. And if you want to learn more about Flash Fill, make sure you check out my tutorial on it. So let's look at some examples. Let's say we want to get phone numbers with dashes from these values in column A. So in column B, because we have to do this in an adjacent column, we would begin typing our entries as we want them to look. So in this case, this is 123-456-7890. Then we begin typing the next entry and you see this grayed out the rest of that number and then all the numbers below it. Well, this is our flash fill. And if we want to accept this fill, if it looks right to us, we would just press enter to fill the rest of those cells. And what's great is, let's say we have a new number that gets added to our list after we're all done. Once we have that number, we can press the Control E keyboard shortcut to fill in any new numbers using the pattern from the values just above it. So you can also use Flash Fill to create a list of phone values that have multiple characters. For example, let's say we want to do parentheses, one, two, three, close parentheses, a space, followed by four, five, six, a dash, seven, eight, nine, zero. And I'm gonna press Control E from my keyboard to fill in the remainder of the phone numbers. It's also even possible for you to use Flash Fill if your original list of values is not consistent. For example, here we have one number with dashes, another one with periods, slashes, etc. So let's say we want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. This is where you have to be careful to pay attention to what the flash fill example is offering you. This fill is not what I want. I actually want them all to have dashes. I don't wanna just copy them as is. So I'm gonna continue typing, add a dash, and then do the same thing to the third value. And notice how now my flash fill example looks correct. And a quick FYI, when the flash fill preview displays can differ from user to user or even between one attempt and another. And this is because Excel and flash fill are basically taken into consideration other actions that you've taken as you're working. So it's trying to figure out what you're gonna type. So anyway, back to this example, I'll press enter to accept this. So as I mentioned earlier, Flash Fill works most of the time to hard code phone values, but not all the time. And that really depends on how complex your phone formatting is. An example of when I run into issues is when I'm trying to also add a plus one in front of the phone number. And because that has to be done as text, so Excel doesn't confuse the plus sign as a calculation, my guess is that it throws that off. I don't know, I couldn't get this to work, but let me show you what happens. So let's say I do a apostrophe, a plus one, then space, parentheses, one, two, three, parentheses again, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. If I press control E, 
my flash fill is all wrong, right? Because I want to use plus one for all of these at the beginning, not the first number that's listed in column A. So let's undo this. So if I keep typing, plus one, five, 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 close the parentheses, and say we'll type the third one, plus one, two, four, six, 802-1357. Notice how I'm still not getting a flash fill example, and we'll type one more to see if I can get it to populate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And I can't, but let's say I want to force the flash fill and press Control E. What you notice is that it wasn't able to find the pattern. I just get an error message saying, we looked at the data, we couldn't see a pattern. Sorry, we can't help you. So this is an example of some of the limitations of flash fill to hard code phone numbers. But as you can see, there is a lot that you can do with it. And I'm curious to see how you were able to use flash fill to hard code phone values. So make sure to note in the comments what results you got when you tried this method. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials like this, make sure to click on these links. Thanks.